Today we're here to talk about hydraulic hose crimpers. My name is Rodney. My name is Mark, and we're the most famous team of hydraulic hose crimper gurus on the internet. I told you not to say that. Well, I mean, we, we gotta get our 15 minutes of fame somewhere. So before we start talking about hydraulic hose crimpers, of course we have to have a disclaimer. We're gonna break away for just a moment and see our disclaimer, and we'll be right back to talk about our five crimpers that we have here. The opinions and or facts expressed by Rodney and Mark in this video are not sanctioned by the crimper manufacturers, such as Eden Weatherhead, Gates, Parker and Custom Crimp. Rodney and Mark have years of hands-on experience with many crimpers dating back to the 1960s. Our opinions and facts come from real-world on-the-job applications by men and women such as yourself. If you are only interested in factory recommendations then contact the manufacturer of your choice. Please remember to follow proper hose assembly procedures and guidelines. Alright, so we're back from our disclaimer. And now we get to finally start talking about our crimpers. Rodney's gonna take it over first and talk about one of the most popular crimpers ever made. It was manufactured first in 1971, the Weatherhead T400. This is the Weatherhead T400. It's a positive stop crimper, so it's very simple to use. Most of my customers that have this or purchase this are- Is that what your cell phone? Yes. I thought I told you to shut that cell phone off. We're trying to do a video here. <sighs> Jeez. Is that your girlfriend again? Give me just a second. More than likely. Tell her to go back to bed. <laughs> Is she off now? Yes. Okay. We got work to do here. Most of my customers that use this hose machine or crimper, whichever you want to call it, are farmer, agricultural people, um, mostly people that don't need anything larger than a two-wire hydraulic hose. Now, this particular machine is made to accept the U-series fittings, but you can also use the Z-series fittings, but only in quarter, three-eighths, and half. This is the Weatherhead T420. It's one step up from the Weatherhead T400. This will do two-wire and four-wire hoses from one inch to inch and a quarter. We recommend that you use Weatherhead U-Series or our aftermarket Weatherhead U-Series fittings with this particular machine. So as long as you're buying hose and fittings from us, we're gonna support you any way that we can. Okay, Mark, enough with your sales pitching. Hey, let's... I gotta do what I gotta do to make a buck here. <laughs> I mean, come on. Now, let's move on to this machine over here. We really don't like this crimper. So the main reason I don't like this crimper has nothing to do with the crimper is I just got an attitude by the guy that designed it. I went to high school with the guy that designed this and we had a rival in high school. I was the quarterback of the high school team and then this guy come in from Tupelo, Mississippi, some bright, shiny guy from the South, came to our school and everybody fell in love with him. And next thing I know, I'm sitting on the bench. So you know, I just got an attitude about the guy. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, that's not the only reason I don't like it. Let's see, what, what are your other reasons? I don't Mark? like this crimper because of this adjustable gauge here this is not like other crimpers right yes sir yes, sure. right. so you, what's the difference with this one compared to these other ones well the difference is it has a dial indicator on the side here and you have to adjust it in order to get the right crimp diameter and the numbers are so small on here i can barely see them now maybe if i was 20 years old again you know i might be able to see them a little bit better but um, for me it's a little difficult believe it or not these two dies can work in this same type of crimper, but they change the bottom bowl. But you don't know that as a consumer. All you see is a picture on the internet with some price, and most of the time they price this crimper on the internet, and they don't tell you that, oh, you don't get the dies for $2,300. That's extra, you know? Uh, and if you're not careful, you buy the wrong crimper with the wrong dies. So it it's, can be very complicated and whoever you choose to buy it from, make sure that you're asking them, hey, am I getting the crimper with the two-piece dies that held together with the rubber uh, compound here, or am I getting the all-metal dies? The all-metal dies are the most popular one only because that's the way it started back in the day. Any of the new crimpers now, people realize these old dies, one, they break. Every time they break, they're gonna cost you about $250. This crimper, crimper dies here are less likely to break. They're easier to use and it's very versatile. So go with the new style dies 
which they actually call it the 420 dies. Now this machine here, this is the Gates PC707. It's an adjustable crimper and it will crimp fittings from quarter inch to inch and a quarter. Uh, the good thing about this machine is it, being an adjustable crimper, you can crimp more than just a Gates fittings. Uh oh. Are you allowed to say that? Well, we don't want to go by their protocol and you know say that you can only crimp their fittings with their hose machine. I mean, people go to auctions all the time and find these crimpers, and all you want to do is make a hose. You know, you don't want to have to be told things that you know are just not true. We can help you with any brand of fitting, and that's what's nice about adjustable crimpers. Adjustable crimpers can crimp any brand as long as you know what you're doing. Problem is, most people that buy a crimper in an auction or buy it on eBay, you don't know what you're doing. That's why we're here. You know, we've got hands-on experience. Let us help you. Even if you're not going to buy hose and fittings from us, we want to help you get started. So this Gate 707, what, what's this Gate's crimper? That's a 420 mobile crimp. That, that's a popular crimper also. Um, a lot of farmers and loggers, like oh, loggers love that machine because it's, it's portable. Um, I think it only yeah. weighs like 65 pounds. Yeah. It does have the handle on it. And that this, this machine here can also be used with either an electric pump, air pump, hand pump, you know, whatever way you would like to do it. But I mean, this crimper, yeah, it's, uh, believe it or not, this crimper can do everything this crimper can. Is that pretty much true, Rodney? Oh yeah. 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 The, the biggest thing is that that one is portable and you can take it just about anywhere that you want to you know make your hose the gate 707 you pretty much got to mount it in a shop or in a trailer somewhere with a 110 electric pump and you know it's it's not as versatile but it's great if you've got a small shop and customers come to you um, this crimper you know you can have a shop and use this crimper as well but uh most people like it because you can hook up an air pump, electric pump, hand pump to it. I mean, it does, and it's adjustable. What what makes it adjustable? Well, it's got the little dial indicator up on the top here. And again, it's, it's like this crimper. You can use just about any fitting. It's an adjustable machine. Uh, there again, you know, I tend to steer people towards our Parker aftermarket fittings. Uh, they're a little less expensive than a Gates fitting, and just because it's a Gates machine doesn't mean you have to use a Gates fitting. Uh, we can talk forever on this stuff. Uh, we've been doing this a long time. I've been in business 32 years. Rodney's been with us about 17 years. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any factory training. You know, we've been out in the field, got our hands dirty, uh, talked to people like you on the phone, in person. We know you just want to make hoses. and. Let us help you make hoses. That's all we're asking. Uh, whether you buy from us or from one of our competitors, you know, you've already made the decision you're gonna buy a crimper. So we might as well be your friend and help you along as much as possible. And hopefully somewhere along the line, you remember that. And, you know, because uh, like I said, you know, whether it's us or big companies like Gates, nobody makes money on crimpers. Okay, enough of the crimper talk. Mark and Rob can go on for hours talking about anything hydraulic. If you got any questions or would like to know more, feel free to give us a call. We are here to help.